Hey, what's up, guys? I did a video two weeks ago where I challenged the globe earthers to explain how is it possible that I'm seeing Venus doing loop-de-loops around the sun, the same as Earth. You know, 500 million mile loop-de-loops around the sun, along with Earth in its orbit. This is a planet. Well, you know, it's not a star. I mean, it's like cloudy tonight. You can see the moon and no other stars. So this is a so-called planet. Where'd it go? Right there. It's big. I mean, you can't tell with this little cheap camera phone I've got, but it's big. It looks close. I ask people who don't even know I'm a flat earther, just, you know, does that star look close or far? They say it looks close. So, yeah. So, what I'm saying is, it's not possible that if we're doing these enormous loops around the sun, that we're just our planet and Venus or whatever that is, I don't know, one of them, we're just going neck and neck around the sun for like two weeks now. <laughs> you know, impossible. There's no way that would that would happen. I mean, I can visualize it. It's just that the planets are way too big relatively in comparison to the size of the orbit, the distance between one another, and the distance to the sun. There's there's just no way that we would see that day after day for two weeks now since I, I mean that's just since my last video it's, it's been there longer and um you know I can I can visualize it and um it ain't gonna happen what, what I'm saying it, we'd see it we'd see that planet you know by 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 chance passing close to us so, so that we could see it on on its merry-go-round trip around the sun maybe once every 50 years okay bye so again i challenge again i, I got a, nine views on my last video so that's a pretty big number of people are watching this and none of not one of them is man enough for the challenge to explain to me how it's possible according to the heliocentric model